The Calendar tool has a number of settings that allow you to personalize it. To get to the settings, click on the Calendar tab on the navbar. Click on Settings. The Calendar Settings window will appear. So there are a number of calendar options you can choose. You can change the core hours. Now this mostly affects the day, week, and month view and not so much the agenda view. So if I change this, for example, to start at 4 a.m. and end at 10 p.m. Uh, and I click Save, again, the agenda view is not so much what would be changed there, but if you look at the day view, that's what's kind of going to be changed there. Again, going back to the settings and going back and changing it to a, the same view, and I click Save, you'll notice Oops. Change it, save it. You'll notice that it'll change to the 7 a.m. till the time that I chose here. Um, if we look at the week view or the month view, if I click on settings here, one of the other things you can choose is show weekends. If I click on show weekends, I click save, the weekends will show up. If I click don't show weekends and I click save, um, and again, maybe on the week view, the weekends don't show up. So really, it depends on the view. The other thing you have here is duration event. So 30 minutes is default. You can change it to 15 or an hour. And the last thing is enable calendar feeds. Uh, this is a really neat tool and a neat feature for students, but I'd ask you to review the tutorial on how, to, uh, how calendar feeds work to learn more, because just turning it on doesn't mean necessarily anything unless you understand how it works. Then finally there's a bunch of tasks options. Uh, the tasks are the area over here on the calendar and you can show completed, hide completed tasks, show completed tasks for one day, three days, or seven days. You can update updating upcoming task duration. Uh, it can be three days ahead, four days, five days, 14 days, whatever you choose and then confirm deletion if that's not checked when you go to delete uh, a task it will automatically be deleted without asking for confirmation now keep in mind that all of these settings are personal so the students also have the same ability to change the settings for themselves you don't change the settings for the students this doesn't affect the students view when you're done with all of the settings you just click save and then the settings will be set